approach that we have taken to face our challenges, first of all, is to come together, to dialogue, and prioritize what needs to be done in the basin. Because these are problems that are not country specific. These are problems that relate to the basin. Hence the need for us to really cooperate. And the most important thing for us is to have the legal framework that cements this, free, uh, this cooperation, hence the need. I also decided two things. One, apart from the engagement which will remain strong and lively, to visit projects, to visit activities, to visit what has been built up with the little support of the European Union taxpayers by the initiative, uh, obviously we will focus on Uganda, but because this initiative is uh, uh, projects are implemented throughout the basin. Uh, and then also to keep meeting regularly uh, uh, with uh, the, our friends and uh, dear colleagues uh, representing uh, the, the countries of this region. As I said, we just uh, support the process, but it is important to keep this dialogue um, and this uh, exchange of views open. Ultimately, there is an interest also physical, clear interest of the European Union to, to be here.